Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Loose Transistor channel. I'm your host Lucas and today I'm going to be doing something that I never thought I would do. Uh, I'm going to do a vlog and the reason I'm doing a vlog is because yesterday uh, the channel crossed over the 500 subscriber mark and I'm super happy and excited that that happened and uh, I wanted to give a huge thanks to you guys and uh, to a few other people and then I was just going to give you guys a little bit of uh, my story, where I came from and uh, how I got into quads, and uh, it might be my first and only vlog. I'm, I really don't like talking about myself that much on camera, so uh, we'll just see how it goes. But before we get to that, I first wanted to give a huge thanks to uh, Norm and Wayne from uh, Beaver FPV. Those guys have been incredibly helpful in my journey so far uh, with parts, with advice, and just uh, awesome camaraderie. They're great guys to fly with, so really glad I met with them, and, uh, and it's been great for my journey in the FPV world. I also wanted to extend a huge thank you to all of the people on the FPV chat because uh, those guys are freaking great. There's really nowhere else in the world that you're going to find such a cool community where you can just go and talk about quads and talk about anything else and get like an awesome help. So huge thanks to those guys, uh, especially uh, Lumpy Donut, Bluegrass Multirotor, um, Altometer, Gapit FPV, Hyfe, uh, The Wizard, oh man, Fishing Bomb, Fallstar. Uh, there's tons of them. I can't even name them. They're all great people and I'm really really lucky to uh, Be able to talk to them and uh, get some information from those guys, too um, So finally I would like to thank all of you who are my subscribers on YouTube and uh, who comment and who like the videos and who push me to do more uh, I really really appreciate every single one of you guys uh, Thank you so much for the patronage so far And I hope that I can continue to provide you guys with good content and that we continue to see this channel grow and provide more information for the community I'm actually not in this to make any money, like I don't monetize my channel at all and I have no desire to do so. Uh, I'm literally just doing this because I love quads, I love drones and I love this community so much. I just want to I just want to do videos, I just want to give back and uh, maybe inform you guys and maybe learn something along the way as well. So um, I hope to keep the channel this way for as long as possible. Um, so yeah, that basically, co oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> Before I forget, I should definitely thank my wife for being incredibly patient with uh, me and my obsession with quads because it is an obsession and I know it's an obsession for a lot of you guys too. So uh, back to talking a little bit about me, uh, I'll give you guys uh, my story. Basically, I uh, grew up in Brazil, so a few people pointed out that I have a bit of an accent and that's true, I uh, grew up in Brazil. But uh, my parents, uh, because of my dad's work, we moved around a lot. So every year, I, every year or two, I'd be in a new city or a new state and a new school. And a few times we moved countries. So um, I lived in the States for a bit. And uh, when I was much older, around uh, 14, 15, we moved to uh, China. And uh, I ended up going to high school there for a few years. I lived in Shanghai for about three of those years. And then six months in Hong Kong before I moved to Canada. And the way I ended up here was entirely random. I literally had no idea what I wanted to do after I graduated high school. So uh, I had a good friend of mine who was from this little town in Canada called London, Ontario. And he told me about a university here that was quite good. I, I applied and I got in. And at that time, I was really into paintball. So that's all I did, really. I went to school and I played paintball all the time. Um, so uh, I moved here and I did uh, took business in university for a little bit and I absolutely freaking hated it. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm really not cut out for the finance business world. So uh, after I gave up on that, I ended up going into graphic design and I became a graphic designer. And uh, I did that for a few years and I then became a, a software developer. So I do web programming, um, front end, back end, pretty much everything, uh, a little bit of it all. And I still do some graphic design here and there, but uh, mostly just for my own stuff. And uh, it was in school during my graphic design years that I met my wife and we've been married for uh, two years now But we've actually been together for closer to eight or nine years now and uh, how I came to get into quads uh, It was a bit roundabout. I've always been interested in electronics and robotics and RC cars and that sort of thing and uh, I got a little bit into the RC car world, but it wasn't really that interesting to me like it was cool and all but I wasn't really hooked by it I started to uh, follow some pages on Facebook. I think um, showing some drone stuff and some drone races and that started to pique my interest and I was kind of just a lurker just checking stuff out and seeing some of my friends post on Facebook about their drones for probably a year or so where I just just watched and I was getting more and more interested and then about a year ago um, on my birthday I decided to pick up a quad so I got a Walkera Runner 250 with the Devo, uh, I forget the name of the controller but it, it came with it, it was basically a ready to fly package 
and boy oh boy, the Walkier Runner 250 is a piece of crap. Uh, I, I managed to fly it the first time and uh, with goggles because I got some Fat Shark Attitude V3s, uh, V3s at the time, yeah. And um, managed to fly it around and just in the park near my house, we've seen countless times on my, my footage and uh, I was just hooked. It was insane. I'm like, I'm a bird. I can fly. I can see exactly where I'm going. This is insane. And literally all I was doing was just putting around with the quad going in circles, but it was just so exciting to me. I've always been interested in aviation. I spent a lot of time playing with um, uh, simulators and uh, that sort of thing on the computer. So this was perfect. I could finally fly uh, in a way that didn't require me to actually own a plane and it was much more real. So it got me hooked and I decided to take it out one more time and I finally, I think it was the second or third flight, I got the, uh, the deadly Volcara roll of death. Basically, if you throttle zero on that thing and you come back up, the ESCs desync and it just, flips down. So that's exactly what happened. The whole thing flipped down, went straight into the ground, and it just snapped in half, like the whole thing, board and all. So <laughs> I was pretty upset because I had really just flown it a couple times. And uh, I went online, I think I got replacement parts on Banggood, took me took a couple weeks to get them, and uh, I fixed the whole quad, put it all back together, tested it, it flew, and I didn't fly it again. I literally sold it that day because I knew I was going to break that thing again and again. Uh, and then I picked up, uh, what was it, um, Halipal, the SRD, um, it was a four inch version of theirs, the 185 or something like that, I forget now, but again, ready to fly package, and it came with the Radio Link 89, and um, that was a pretty solid package, I'm not, not gonna lie, it, was, it, it did okay, but again, in probably two weeks, I broke it, so I realized that that was gonna be a theme throughout this, that I was just gonna keep breaking quads all the time. So I started to get more invested into building quads and building my own quads and making them stronger or better or knowing how to fix them and having the parts on hand. And uh, this is what kind of sparked my interest in making these build videos because uh, I would look online and there were some build videos, but the, I don't know, I, I felt like there was a niche there that I could fill. And uh, since I was building so many quads and trying so many different frames, uh, I figured I could provide some something back to the community and just information. So I started doing these build videos and uh, the channel started to, to pick up some steam and I started to learn a little bit more freestyle and a little bit more racing. So I'm hoping that as time goes on, I'll be able to offer you guys even more content as I learn more and more about this stuff. So that's basically my story as it goes up until now. And uh, my FPV journey is far from over. I'm loving it every minute of it and I just want to learn more and more and I just want to do it more and more. So I hope you guys stick around and uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel because uh, this is going to be a fun journey. I have some cool stuff planned out. Uh, the last video that I posted about the TVS uh, diodes, that generated a lot of buzz. So I'm going to be working with uh, another channel, a friend of mine, who uh, we're going to be running some proper tests on the TVS so that we can give you guys some actual data to back it up. And um, we'll be doing a full build. Uh, this right here is the Strictly Racing Drones 5 inch that I'm going to be building using the TVS and I'm not going to be using uh, the capacitor at all. So we'll do some video comparisons between this and maybe some of my other rigs. And I have a friend of mine, the channel that I spoke about, uh, he's gonna be doing uh, he's gonna be doing some O-scope on his current build that is just, uh, no, uh, I think it just has a capacitor on it. So he's gonna be doing an O-scope on that. He's gonna put some TVS on it and compare the two. I'll be able to get give you guys a lot better data on that. So uh, thanks for watching again, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.